Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look, do you want to lock up these faders, these cheesers? Do you want the meta lockdown? The best lockdown you can make? The best of all worlds, not just defense, not just shooting, but to also have playmate, to have unpluckable, to not just have your pass accuracy up? Before we get into the build, man, I'ma explain it all down to a T. So y'all are not going to want to skip or you will not understand why the build is the way it is. But yeah, y'all make sure y'all like up the video. It helps out the vid a lot and it requires no effort, my boy. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you're new and turn on them post notices, man. So look, here we go, man. Here we go. I'm going to make him 6'7", man. Best of both worlds. You got some size on him, and you're going to have some speed on him, man. Okay, now here's the wingspan. Here is the weight, okay? You're going to make want to make him built so you appear even bigger than you are. It's going to help you get more body ups, clamp niggas. That different type of shit. but it might mess with you when you're trying to get through screens is it's your own poison okay now firstly bro we got the stamina at an 85 i think this is okay man um i'm not too sure to be honest it might be 90 but you know ball handlers be doing 90 when you have lockdowns you can have a lower stamina i think this is good enough to be honest to me um we got the speed 87 to really keep up with the meta play shots and we got a, a decent acceleration. You don't really need um, the acceleration for a lockdown, but we're also gonna be able to ball handle and help bail out our point guard or just, you know, help the team for Pro-Am and Rec and all that, man. And we got a 60 vertical, and let's bring this strength up to a 47. So we got a little bit of strength. Strength was definitely overrated this year. I would like a higher vertical, to be honest, because it helps with um, rebounding, contest, other different type of things. But um, there's so many other things that I have on this build that I think is really uh, nice, man. Here's the defense, man. We got a 68 interior. This is pretty good for a lockdown. Man. Pretty good, man. We got that silver anchor and then a decent interior. You're going to be able to get paint stops. And then you got uh, that big ass 74 wingspan and your 67. You got a 97 perimeter, Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame challenger, Hall of Fame glove, Hall of Fame interceptor, 99 steel to, you know, really cheese niggas and, you know, make them hate their life, make them reevaluate why they play this shit, okay? And you fast as hell, man. You have higher speeds than guards, man. You're, you're, you know, look at your speed. And then look at this, like you're faster than guards, bro. Like that ass. Uh, you got an 87 block. Okay, this helps your uh, contest. This helps you get blocks in the paint. Then you got that silver anchor and the challenger to help. You feel me? And you got a 93 defensive rebound and you got some decent offensive rebound and you got gold rebound chaser, bro. This is nice. You know, this is, you know, we got, look at this. We got gold pogo too. Like this is a, this is a real good defensive set. I would want more defensive to be honest, but I'll just do my plus fours and, you know, really focus on getting my defense up so I can really get all these badges. With 29, you still can get most of these badges that really matter. You can get all four of them tier threes and then still have some uh, for some other defensive badges, too. So it's pretty cool, man. Now we have 17 playmaking on a lockdown, bro. Okay, so you're gonna really be able to help your team a lot with dimer and floor general if you want but um your pass accuracy 75 so you can get the best passing style your ball handle is enough to unlock you know a very cheesy escape size up paul george <laughs> and then we got the 77 speed with ball that's gonna help you in pro-am and 3v3 somewhat and it just helps me get a lot of badges like i have a lot of badges right here like i i can really do a lot to help the team i got the quick first step on silver i got the bailout the hyper drive the vice grip i heard glue hands was with vice grip i don't know though y'all let me know if that's true um we got unpluckable and then we can have the handle for days so we could be a secondary ball handler 
somewhat like in the park and stuff and still get a little wiggly with it man the real point of this is to get unpluckable bro because if y'all don't know i've been saying this since the beginning people are going to figure out that most lock builds and center builds if they're traditional and not just a big you know iso build they're not going to have unpluckable or quick first step really and people are just gonna start reaching. So at least you get silver unpluckable with this. Okay, man. Now we got 17 shooting, bro. We got an 82 three pointer. People say a 63 free throw is good enough. Y'all let me know the lowest free throw you know that's good enough to always hit. Um, we get gold amped. We get the Claymore gold. We get to uh really focus in on clutch shooter and comeback kid too. This will be very clutch for your team. These are only four points. Um, for a lock, they say corner specialists don't even work. Leak, 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 leak. But we really want this catch and shoot goal. And um, we got agent threes, bronze, everything else don't really matter. You're going to be able to have sharp take on this build. So you really don't even need that uh, limitless on bronze, to be honest. So you can really focus on these two badges and really do some damage, bro. Okay, so look. Here's how it's looking now, man. Okay, we actually got the 74 free throw, 17 shooting. We got the 80 dunk, man. I did want, I do want contacts. I do want the limitless takeoff, but you can't get it. At least we got the quick drops, but um, it's not gonna be as efficient with limitless takeoff, but it's too much investment for finishing, to be honest, man. So, you know, we got everything else, right? But, um. I, I think this is cool enough. Uh, I think your lock should definitely have dunk. You know, I could have went lower and then, uh, you know, high, high in some other stuff. But I don't know, bro. I think we need dunk. Maybe, but maybe not. Maybe not for the locks. But uh, this, this is what we rocking with, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know uh, what's the favorite build that y'all made. And if y'all got over 80 win percent, bro, hit me up on... Uh, Twitter, bro. It could be current gen or next gen, or if you got interesting builds and you want me to use them hoes. So look, we got sharp and lock take, bro. This is amazing. Okay. Now me personally, bro, I was doing extreme clamps and then perimeter badge drop, but bro, I might double this shit. I think this is going to be broken, bro. But I don't know. Just I heard extreme clamps don't really work like that. I don't know, man. Uh, actually, I think this is pretty broken, bro. Um, yeah. WLR mentioned this in my stream earlier because I was making this build on on our stream. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hulk. And um, thinking about it, man, this would be broken. I did have it as a secondary, but I didn't think of doubling it because I didn't think it would, you know double knock shit down but i'm gonna definitely test this out for a video hopefully nobody beat me to it now let's make the build man we got a uh, interesting name i've never seen no one with this name before and these is the weak ass shades i don't know why this kirk nigga up here why y'all think this nigga up here we got a three and d points y'all let me know if y'all seen this before or if you have a, a build name like this Y'all let me know what y'all think of the lock, man. I, I think it's pretty tough, bro. Now, here's the finishing badges I would use on this build. Everything's like a one on this. We got a little bit of acrobat for the hop steps, the spin shit, the euros, the cradles, the reverse. You know, shit like that help us out a little bit since we got a kind of low layup. Back down punisher since we're going to be matched up versus the guard if we do play a guard. You know, we can baby that little nigga and then drop step that little nigga type shit. We got the pro touch to help us out. Got the post spin technician to baby the little niggas. Or maybe even bigger niggas. And then we got the giant slayer, man. Spam teardroppers on niggas. I don't know, bro. This is how I would rock my shooting, man. For this build. Any of y'all end up making this, man. Let me know. Especially if you max this out. I'm definitely probably going to make this on my account myself for my lock build. I don't know yet, though. I might make a 6-8 version. I haven't decided. But this is definitely, like, super tough, like, top tier 6-7 locks. Now, you could rock, rock it like this. I don't know how much needed vice grip is. Actually, you could rock it like this. You could have that hyperdrive shit on it if you want. And you could have uh, handles for days instead of clamp breaker. But it's all personal preference, bro. You're really trying to help 
everyone else on your team do a little better. And um, yeah, bro, I think this is valid. Y'all let me know how y'all would run your badges so far for the finishing, shooting, playmaking, and uh, now defensive. And this is how I would uh, rock the defensive, man. Um, I'm definitely gonna put the plus four on this. I don't know what's the best workhorse yet, or if it's even worth it uh, to not have stuff like off ball pass or maybe like a little bit of pick dodger. Um, yeah, bro. I definitely want to purple all these badges down here. I might silver interceptor instead of uh, challenger, but I don't know because this is assessingly or intimidating. I do want to go higher, but I only have so many badges to be honest. Hopefully Hall of Fame clamps make a difference. I don't really know, man. Um, I'm gonna definitely test all this shit out and I'm gonna really let y'all know. And uh, yeah, we already know that Hall of Fame glove is broke. Anywho, man, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if you new, hit that like button, turn on them post notices. Y'all be sure to follow my Twitch down uh, below in the description, Lord Baby Hulk. And um, become a member to the YouTube channel. You wanna get on the friends list, play uh, 2K with me or COD with me or 1v1 me, nigga, and get dropped off. Y'all click on one of these two videos, man. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, Everything I'm that made me now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.